always winning. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. In the context here, as uh, Paul is addressing issues in the Corinthian church, he then turns his attention in chapter 2 verse 11 to the adversary. He says, lest Satan should get advantage of us uh, because we are not ignorant of his devices. So he's aware that in, in all the issues of life, um, uh, there, there is an adversary that Satan could try to intrude, do things and interfere in the affairs of life. And so he says, you know, uh, we don't want Satan to get an advantage of us and we are not ignorant of his devices. And uh, as he continues developing further that thought, he says in verse 14, Now thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. In the midst of all of these things, he says, thanks be to God. Give thanks to God. Why? Because he always causes us to triumph in Christ. Now think about that. There may be times when it seemingly, uh, when seemingly you may be losing, uh, when seemingly you may be going down, when seemingly you may not be winning. Maybe you are in a situation like that where the pressures of life, where the adversities of life, where maybe Satan and all of his demonic works against you have seemed to have pressured, pushed in on you so much that you feel like, man, I don't feel like I'm on the winning side. I don't feel like I'm actually winning. Uh, I think they're going back to worse. What does Paul say? He says, thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Now, the Word of God says that God always causes us to triumph. So settle that in your heart, that you're going to come out a winner, that God will cause you to triumph. No matter how bad the situation, no matter how impossible things seem, God will cause you to triumph. God is able to do it. He is God. He is so powerful. And you have the assurance of his word right here that he will cause you to triumph. He will always cause you to triumph. Always means no matter what situation, no matter what time of day, God was there to cause you to triumph. But what you and I must do is to give thanks to God. So today, by faith, by faith in his word, by faith in who God is to you, I want to encourage you to give thanks to God that He is causing you to try out. It may not seem like you're winning right now, but you start thanking God that He will cause you to try out always. That's His word. And that positions you to begin to experience God's work where He will bring you out as a winner. Remember, in Jesus, you always win. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you always cause us to try out in Christ. And so, Lord, no matter what situation, we offer you thanks that your word is truth and you will make us win. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.